Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to use the quotient rule that you can use when you want to differentiate functions that look like this, where you have a quotient of two functions. Let's start with the first example. Find the derivative of the function f. Our function looks like this, where we have this fraction, on top we have a function, and on the bottom we have a function. And every time your function looks like this, you can use the quotient rule to find the derivative. So to find f prime of x, the quotient rule says the following. Call everything that you have in your numerator here on top. Let's call this u. Sometimes it's also another name, but let's just call it u here. And everything that you have in your denominator, let's call this v. And the quotient rule then says that the derivative is a quotient, again, consisting of u prime, so the derivative of your numerator, and then you multiply it by v as it is, so you don't change the denominator at all, you just multiply it. And then you subtract u as it is and multiply this, this time, by v prime. And the denominator, you just take the denominator, your v, and you square it. Okay, let's apply this rule step by step. We have u that we need, so let's write down u here. u is everything on top, so it's 1 minus x squared. We have v in here, everything on the bottom, that's 3x plus 5. We need for the formula u prime, so let's find the derivative of u. With the normal rules, we start here with a 1. There is no x in here, so this will vanish when we want to find the derivative. So it's just 0. We don't have to write down anything. Okay, second part. Here the rule is that you take your exponent and multiply it by the number in front, so by the minus. So we have minus 2, and then you decrease your exponent by 1. So instead of x to the power of 2, we only have x to the power of 1, or just x. You don't have to write this power of 1. Okay, this is u prime. And the same now with v, because we need v prime as well. So let's find the derivative of this. Here we start with 3x. If you only have x in here, the rule is that the x will vanish, but the number in front of my x will stay, so I keep the 3. And with the second part, there is no x in here, this just vanishes, and there is nothing more to this derivative. Okay, let's insert everything into our formula. u prime equals negative 2x. Always write it in parentheses so that you're on the safe side. Um, so we will multiply this by v. v was my denominator, so I multiplied in parentheses by 3x plus 5. Then I subtract u as it is, so that was my uh, numerator, also in parentheses, it's 1 minus x squared, I need more space here, and then I multiply this by v prime, so this time I would just multiply it by 3. And the denominator, I take my v, that looks like this, that's just the denominator as it was, but I have to square it. So I write it in parentheses and I square this thing. This is the quotient rule, always. So as soon as you have this, this is your derivative. Of course, if you want to work with this, you should simplify it a little more. But this step, this first step, this was the derivative. And now we just simplify this expression here a little bit so that it's easier to work with. Usually you just leave the denominator as it is, so we don't change it, we don't get rid of the parentheses or anything, just leave it as it is. But here with the numerator we have a minus in between here, um, so the first part is a product. We can uh, multiply this first part by everything in my parentheses here. So I have 
negative 2x times 3x. First the numbers, negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6, and x times x equals x squared. Then the second part, negative 2x times 5, so negative 2 times 5 gives me negative 10, and then I have this x in here as well. With the second part, we also have a product here, so I could multiply each element of my parentheses by the 3, but we have a minus in front of my parentheses here, so I have to be careful that I don't make any mistakes because of this minus. So either you say, okay, I multiply negative 3 by my parentheses, or you switch the position here so that you can see it better. You don't have to write the times 3 here at the end. You could also take your 3 in front of your parentheses, write it down here so that you can see better that you multiply negative 3 by each element of your parentheses. So we have negative 3 times 1, which gives us negative 3, and negative 3 times negative x squared. Negative times negative gives us a plus, and 3x squared as a result. We are almost done. We won't change the denominator, so we can write it down like this. And in the numerator, we have parts with x squared here, and x squared here as well, so we can simplify these. Negative 6 of these plus 3 of these gives us negative 3 of these x squared parts, and then we just write down the rest. We can simplify this further, and this is our simplified version of our derivative. Let's take a look at the second example. Same thing here. We have a quotient of two functions. We can use the quotient rule to find the derivative of g this time, so g prime of x. It's going to be a quotient again. We have u prime times v minus u times v prime, and then we square the denominator. Everything on top is my u, everything on the bottom is my v, so in our case our u is 4x this time, and our v is everything in the denominator, no matter how it looks like, we just write everything down. We need u prime and v prime, we start with u prime. So what's the derivative of this thing here? We have an x in here, the rule is this x will vanish and the number in front will stay, so the 4 will stay, that's it. And then for v prime here, we start with x to the power of 3, we take the exponent in front, so we have 3 times, and then we decrease the exponent by 1 instead of the 3, we write down a 2. Next part, here we only have x in here, which is said x will vanish and the number in front of my x will stay. What's the number in front of my x? I can't see anything. Well, if you can't see anything, there is a 1 times in front, so the x will vanish and the 1 in front will stay. And then the last part, here is no x in here at all, so this whole thing will vanish um, and it's going to be 0. We found everything, let's insert this into our formula. u prime is just 4. Okay, we take the 4 and multiply it by v. v is this beautiful thing here, write it in parentheses. This whole denominator, don't make any mistakes, it looks like this. Then we subtract u was 4 x and we multiply it by v prime that looks like this and also this is going to be in parentheses and then we square the denominator so we take the denominator write it in parentheses um, and then don't forget to square this thing this is the derivative of our function but of course we have to simplify it again to be able to work with it a little better than in this form here. What can we do? 
the denominator will stay as it is. We won't change it. This is the easy part. Just write it down again. But here we are going to multiply the parentheses. So 4 will be multiplied by each element in here, which gives us 4x to the power of 3. Then we have 4 times x gives us 4x, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then the same thing here, we multiply this element by everything in here. So it's negative 4x times 3x squared. First the numbers. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and x times x squared is x to the power of 3. And then negative 4x times 1, which is just negative 4x. We are almost done. We write down the denominator one last time, but won't change it. Don't forget the square. And then we can simplify a little bit because we have parts with x to the power of 3 in here. 4 of them, and we subtract 12 of them, which gives us negative 8 of them. Then we have 4x minus 4x, which will cancel out. And then the numbers negative 8, negative... No, 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 no. The negative 12 here belongs to the x to the power of 3. So we only have negative 8 as a number in here. So we write down the negative 8 like this. And this is our result. I hope you know now how it works. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next videos. Take care.